broadcasting from various countries around the world using wireless technology. This is 4G Uncovered, a 4G on Solutions UK podcast. I'm David Triff and joining us today is Jamie Fink, co-founder and chief product officer at Mimosa Networks. Thanks for joining us today, Jamie. Thanks, David. Nice to be here with you today. So, first question, please could you give the 4G on audience a brief history on Mimosa Networks? Yeah, sure. So Mimosa is now a three-year-old company, um, and we've just released our first products um, in the last few months. Um, we were based in Silicon Valley. Uh, we're a venture-funded company, and we really started the company uh, really because we saw a huge gap happening in the internet access market, as well as in what we all look at in the Wi-Fi markets today. And that gap was really the ability to get uh, access to better speeds in, of internet access as well as in the Wi-Fi market, as most people are very familiar when they use Wi-Fi, it doesn't often work very well in very high capacity environments. So we saw a very interesting opportunity with new technology that was coming to market that could really accelerate uh, the costs and speeds that we all want to get to um, in internet access, as well as kinds of performance in high capacity environments in outdoor wireless networks. And we've really been accelerating that technology to build out an end-to-end ecosystem products that enable bandwidth from lower cost locations and data centers all the way down to homes, as well as to smartphones, um, Apple and Android devices that we all know and love. So we're really building out both a fixed internet access ecosystem, as well as a much more improved technology on Wi-Fi access technology as well. Sounds excellent. So moving on to my next question, could you tell us more about the features of your access points, the Mimosa A5360 and A590? How do these differ from APs like ones in the Ubiquiti Unifier, Ingenious and Xclaim ranges? Sure. So the access point technology is probably what I consider the most differentiated uh, set of features at Mimosa, largely because we're we're tapping into a new technology that really has not been used in the Wi-Fi market, and that is this uh, concept of MIMO or MIMO technology, multiple in and multiple out. It has been used in the past in all of the other uh, products that you mentioned in low order or low capacity uh, capabilities. Um, We've been able to um, harness the power of many more streams of MIMO, um, starting at 4 by 4 MIMO technology, but also being able to enable the latest and greatest in the 802.11 Wi-Fi world of multi-user capability. So these access points will be able to now transmit simultaneously to more users um, by doing very com- complex antenna techniques called beamforming. And what beamforming allows us to do in these products is send out unique streams aiming the energy of the radio uniquely at each client. And that way I can reuse that same channel at the same time across multiple clients at once. This is gonna solve many, many noise and interference problems and up the capacity of our radios. And we're gonna be doing this in two different applications. Our initial market focus is building out fixed internet technology um, where people in, especially in developing countries where there's very little infrastructure, wireless is the only way forward. Um, In those countries, we expect that we will see um, a very high volume of people trying to get on the internet at lower costs. Um, And what this enables is an ecosystem that is probably about a tenth of the cost of trying to use fiber to deliver high speeds. So our goal is to deliver with this technology um, and the customer premise equipment in the fixed world um, of a a CapEx model of somewhere under $130 to $140 in the U.S. And that will enable very, very low cost services of up to 500 megabits of burstable internet speed to each consumer. So that's on the fixed side of the business. On the uh, Wi-Fi side of the business, what we're bringing to the table is really the highest capacity Wi-Fi access point in the world at this point, largely because of this multi-user and Nemo technology. And on a go-forward basis, I think you'll see that Mimosa will continue to, to drive that technology to be in the highest capacity as well. Internal to those access points, we've done some very special work as well to incorporate some sophisticated capabilities. So while many access points are now in the enterprise world, um, moving from a controller-based enterprise solution to a controller-less solution, they're losing a lot of features and capabilities. Well, this product set, uh, the A5 product series, also introduces localized control functions with very sophisticated uh, packet inspection capabilities and subscriber management capabilities. So what you will pick up is many features like the ability to very specifically um, 
be able to uh, manage how much Netflix or uh, various different types of streaming services any individual user has, it, as well as be able to set up quality of service for different types of ser service enablement, whether it's consumer or business types. Um, so it's a very sophisticated, smart access point that now can, at an individual access point, be the most intelligent AP on the planet, but also on a network-wide basis, using some of Mimosa's cloud technology, we can also coordinate channel planning and use of the, the mobility of users across the network if you're building an outdoor network um, in that fashion. Um, I should state right now, everything we're focused on is outdoor Wi-Fi, um, and particularly a high-capacity market. Um, doesn't mean we're fully limited to that capacity um, and going indoors, but that's where the focus of the company is at this point. Okay, that's excellent, Jamie. So moving on to my next question. The Mimosa C5 Gigabit Ethernet CPE looks like an advanced point to multipoint solution. Could you tell us more about the best features of this product and why customers should purchase it over solutions from Ubiquiti, such as the Ubiquiti Air Max ranges and other point to multipoint solutions? Certainly. So the C5 product is really a product that is going to pair together um, as part of our point to multipoint solution with our A5 product line. Um, the C5 it really, it, I think what most people will recognize very quickly is the price and performance of this particular product. Um, we've engineered this product to be a sub $100 US product um, to be able to deliver up to 500 me megabits and above um, to each consumer. So what this means is really, really low cost capital expenditure, but designed for fiber like speeds. So we have really engineered the product to be able to be low cost but withstand the kinds of environments that you see outdoors um, and also work with Mimosa's fixed internet access uh, protocols, which are part of our synchronized um, co-location technology in our access points. So as part of our fixed architecture, the things that's different about us um, is that we have, as I mentioned earlier, this multi-user MIMO technology, and that's a key feature that the C5 product also supports to help the access points figure out how to transmit traffic down to multiple clients at the same time and get better capacity. Um, so that's kind of the first piece that we get to get double the kinds of capacities that we used to in the past. Then we also integrate GPS synchronization into our access point and point to multi-point strategy. And what that means is I can now put our A5360 products, for example, back to back on the same tower and share the same channel with incredible back to back, uh, front to back isolation between the two products. Um, and with the 300, the 360 products, um, the, uh, the other access points that are more omni-like in their coverage, they're all synchronized off of the same network time uh, using GPS technology. So this whole solution, the A5s and the C5s together, coordinate to deliver the highest capacity fixed internet access solution that's ever been built. And it will deliver fiber speeds at a fractional cost as to what it would have cost to use fiber in the past, but it will be the most spectrally friendly and spectrally efficient technology when it comes to being able to put more subscribers into the same spectrum by using this more advanced multi-user beamforming and synchronization technology. So all together, it delivers both the cost I think people are looking for with a much more friendly approach to reusing the spectrum um, than has ever been done before by anything deployed um, by some of the manufacturers that you've mentioned um, so far. Okay, thanks, Jamie. After looking at the product, it does seem really good with the range it can reach. Like you said in your previous answer, for certain areas of the world where the cable infrastructure isn't as good, it's hopefully going to be really popular. Yeah, it, it's we're, we're building products, obviously, for a number of ranges. I think a lot of um, customers that um, out there, ISPs that are in rural areas or have really struggled to get the, all of the features they needed at the right price um, and being able to manage the spectrum, which is always a problem for everybody in unlicensed spectrum. But we absolutely have also designed this for working in urban areas as well. And that's why you see a mix of different access point strategies. Um, on the A5360s, we have a very small um, device that is designed to, to sit on more lamp posts and lamp poles in city areas and be every couple of city blocks, so to speak. And there is a C5 product that we call the C5i for indoor, um, that is designed for these developing markets to be able to have the consumer self-install their radio, literally sticking it to their window. Um, and this is going to be very interesting in markets where you have um, tall apartment buildings that have no Ethernet or fiber running up and down them. And this is very, very common in, in like 80 to 90% of the world. So where all the growth of the Internet traffic is going to be, this is 
is where we think it's going to be very interesting. So for a low cost, somebody can pick up in a shop on High Street, they'll be able to go down and buy that radio um, at a low cost and, and put it up and be able to talk to their wireless ISP to one of these access points up and down the neighborhoods. Um, so we think that that urban market um, is where the market long term is going to be. But right now, we're also building the technology to go very long distance as well to satisfy the kind of rigorous demands of what typical rural and suburban ISPs ask for every day. And we've really tried to build an entire portfolio of products from our C5, um, which is the uh, 20 dBi product, um, the C5 connectorized, which will work out to any, almost any distance that you want by being able to attach the antenna of your choice based on that client's home's distance. Um, and then the C5i indoor, which is designed for the urban markets. Okay, that's great. So when can we expect to see the Mimosa range of products uh, and when will they be available to purchase? So we actually introduced our first product um, in November timeframe. Um, it's actually pretty much sold out extraordinarily well in the UK in particular. It's, it's moved, moved uh, volumes through extraordinarily fast. So we're really excited to see the user feedback we're getting on that. And that's called our, ba our backhaul, our B5 product. Um, backhaul 5 gigahertz. Um, and that product is designed, so there's two versions of it, um, an integrated radio as well as a connectorized radio for long distance applications. And it's really designed much like the access points are to be very spectrally friendly and to be able to reuse spectrum by enabling co-location synchronization using GPS on the same tower locations. So across a network and at each tower location, those products can be synchronized to share the same channel uh, interference being a problem. So those products are already out in market. Um, we're just backfilling demand right now as we speak, and um, we're, we're really moving forward with that product extremely well. The Access Point products, um, we announced them um, in around the October timeframe um, to be available in the late summertime of 2015. Uh, we're on track with that right now, um, and that will be a mixture of Wi-Fi based applications for these A5 products, and, C and A5 products in particular, and then um, the TDMA side of the business or the fixed internet access side of the business will have the C5 and the A5 together um, in the late summer uh, timeframe as well. Uh, so that's when you can expect both the, both the traditional Wi-Fi and handset um, uh, compatibility with iPhones and Androids and laptops, et cetera, as well as fixed internet access um, technologies. And they leverage the same hardware technology and the access points, of course, um, but the fixed internet access um, would, would require the, uh, the, the C5 uh, CPE products. Okay, great. So do you have any plans for any new Mimosa products and are there any other developments we can expect to see in the near future? Well, we are, we're always planning for new products and, and building pretty aggressively. Um, the nice thing about this platform that we've built is it's extraordinarily extensible into many different sizes and shapes as well as to different frequencies. Um, so there's a lot of work that we're doing to get more backhaul technology into different frequencies because you don't always want to use the 5 gigahertz for backhaul. You might want to use it primarily for, for last mile access or last 100 meters access. Um, now, in this particular case, I'm actually, I, I'm actually happy to announce that we've got a new product coming out uh, this week. Um, there's a new product in our backhaul line that we will be introducing um, called the B5 Lite, um, which is a, a lower cost alternative but high performance backhaul solution that will enable people to go from anywhere from typically um, on the low end, uh, less than a mile, all the way up to about 11 miles of coverage with backhaul um, with up to about six to 700 megabits of throughput. And that's something that um, you know, we expect to be debuting into the market at around $299 US. Um, so it's something that's highly, highly cost performance um, optimized to be able to let people um, you know, that wouldn't necessarily be going after a high-end backhaul solution, but are really looking for something competitively priced that's really easy to install. It'll work really well for enterprise applications as well as uh, smaller ISPs. Okay, thank you. And so, as Mimosa are new to the wireless market, what do you see as your competition, and who is your best fit customer? <laughs> you know, it, it's very difficult to answer those both of those questions. We we definitely are different because we are going after I think two market strains. Um, but not the same way that anybody has in either. Um, so I think when you look at um, companies like Ubiquiti and Cambium that have very much focused on rural broadband, yes, our products are very attractive to uh, traditional wireless ISPs because we, we have a 
a very great, you know, telco grade but high performance and low cost approach that I think is very, very attractive, um, especially with some of the um, spectrum sharing and spectrum reuse capabilities we have. Um, however, our target really for the fixed internet access market is going into markets where wireless can deliver better speeds than cable DSL um, and at a fractional cost of fiber. So we believe that we're really going after something quite a bit bigger in trans transitioning the wireless ISP market into something that's actually going to grow quite a bit more in market segments that people probably never thought that wireless um, leveraging Wi-Fi based technology would be able to do because it has its in the past had its kinds of technical limitations and spectrum problems um, to, to, to deal with. Um, so the, on that side of the business, I, I mean, I think we're kind of carving out our own niche and expanding a market into a new area. On the Wi-Fi side of the business, I do think that this multi-user technology and this high capacity technology really is going to set us apart. I think there's a lot of guys that have gone after um, you know, carrier Wi-Fi and carrier Wi-Fi offloading and metropolitan Wi-Fi, um, but those segments have, have yet to really materialize, uh, largely because I don't think that uh, traditional ISPs that are putting Wi-Fi out there, they've been expected to give Wi-Fi away like it's free, like we all get water anywhere we want to go. Um, so we look at this model and say that it's broken. Um, you can't just give away Wi-Fi and expect it to be profitable. Uh, at the same time, you need to be able to provide courtesy Wi-Fi service to people. So we believe that we'll come up with a model that can help ISPs monetize their Wi-Fi by providing you know, carrier offloading and mobility offloading services that can be profitable, as well as broadband services in urban areas, which will help bring monthly revenues into ISPs that are deploying Wi-Fi, as well as courtesy Wi-Fi hotspot to people that, live in, to people that live in the neighborhoods and to subscribe to broadband subscriptions. So I don't think anybody's taken that tact to it before, and that's something I think that will be unique to Mimosa, um, trying to really look at this from a business perspective and flip it upside down and build something that can be very um, business attractive for new ISPs that are looking to get more into urban Wi-Fi and suburban Wi-Fi environments. That's great, and some really insightful stuff for the, your, your targeted audience for your product, so that, that's great. So thanks for joining us today, Jamie. Yeah, thank you, David. I appreciate you having us. No problem. It's been great. This has been a 4G Uncovered podcast brought to you by 4G On Solutions. For more information, please visit www.4gon.co.uk.